Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation. Now first we will look at the number of atoms on both reactant and product side and then we will start balancing it. For calcium we have 3 atoms of calcium on reactant side and 1 on product side. Similarly 2 phosphorus atoms on reactant side, 4 on product side. Silicon we have 1 atom each on both the side and for oxygen we have 8 plus 2 that is 10 for a reactant side and 3 plus 1 4 on product side. Make sure to count each and every atom in every molecule to not miss out on any atom. And for carbon, we have one each on both the side for now. So while you start balancing this equation, always remember to start with uh, the atoms that are easy to balance and then move forward to balancing oxygen or atoms that are easy to uh, balance or that are alone like here we have carbon atom in the reactant that we can balance at the last because it would be easier to add a coefficient and you know balance this equation so um, we are going to start with phosphorus atom over here because we have two on reactant side and four on product side so basically we just need to multiply this by two and for that we need to add a coefficient two over here now when you add two over here it changes the number of atoms of calcium and oxygen as well so um, what we are going to do is we are going to update our uh, carbon atoms and phosphorus atoms and oxygen atoms for this side so initially we had three calcium atoms but now that we have multiplied this number by two we have six calcium atoms four phosphorus atoms and for oxygen it would be four into two eight and eight into two sixteen um, oxygen atoms plus the two that are here so in total we have 18 oxygen atoms on reactant side so now you have to also make sure that we have same number of calcium atoms and we can multiply this by putting a coefficient 6 over here and in turn it will change the number of atoms of uh, calcium silicon and oxygen as well so now we have 1 into 6 6 atoms of calcium for both the sides for silicon it would be 6 and for oxygen it will be 18 plus 1 which is 19 okay so you have to update that on that side as well by putting a coefficient over here so now we have six silicon atoms but it changes the number of oxygen atoms so here now we have 16 plus uh, 12 28 oxygen atoms and for here we have 19 oxygen atoms so for fixing this what you can do is you can put a coefficient 10 before a carbon um, monoxide because it will help us to get 28 oxygen atoms on the product side so do that and now to balance it off add a coefficient 2 on the reactant side as i said it is very easy to balance a molecule you know an, an element which is all alone so do that and now you have same number of atoms for calcium phosphorus silicon oxygen and carbon i hope this video helps you to understand on how to balance this equation such equations might seem tricky at the start but always remember to start with the uh, uh, molecules that are easy to balance and then uh, fix the number of atoms for oxygen and hydrogen. I hope this video helped you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.